Good morning, it's so good to be back and this is turning your home kitchen into a professional kitchen. And last week we looked at the basic ingredients when it comes to baking and now we're going to continue with that and we're going to start with sweeteners and you can already guess, you know, sweeteners are talking about the sugars and sugar is a hydroscopic which means that it attracts and retains water. You know, salt has the same properties but in baking this is an advantage because the sugar retains the moisture um, of the baked product but when you are making candies um, it's actually what degrades the product and when we're looking at the basic of sugars we're looking at the monosaccharide and that is when sugar is this uh, is at its purest form and is this, uh, that is the building block to all the sugars and all the starches that you see and when we think about sugars we go from white cane sugar we go to brown sugar we go to molasses we go to those deep rich 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 sugars and you know it really is the 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 easy part of understanding we're going to move on to leaveners and leaveners is an ingredient to that helps us when we want to make our cakes rise when we want to make our breads lighter and they fall into different categories and uh we get on our, our organic leaveners which is our yeast which is normally used for bread and beer making and then we get our chemical leaveners which is our baking powder and baking soda um that's normally used in a lot of cakes and you know biscuits um, then we get our mechanical leaveners and this is this would be our airs or steams when you're thinking of making you, your, your steam buns you know and how the steam actually is what makes it rise um, when we look at yeast yeast is something really important to understand because it's a living organism and it actually needs you know a good amount of moisture and heat and food to grow a lot of people when they are baking you know they just chuck it in there with boiling water and it already kills it you know, yeast is very important and super, super heat sensitive. Uh, you gotta make sure that you, when you wanna use those dry yeast packets, yes, it says instant yeast, but it's always best to put it in your liquid and make sure that liquid is around 27 degrees and you're gonna see, you're gonna get the, the best product you can get out of that yeast. Uh, be careful because at 60 degrees, that's actually where you kill it. So baking, yes, it is, like I said, a science and very temperature sensitive. So just be careful when using these products. And I'm looking forward to speaking with you next week where we'll continue. Goodbye.